Farelia, on the 16th day of self-isolation, March 28th, 2020. In the dawning, your brother cries each day, rested by body from dream delight into the routines. He takes the milk. He asks for baby, which is short for television program he loves because it teaches how to communicate in ASL, how to bridge with we giants the chasm between words we know and he invents. I tell him that he is the baby and that there is a baby too within me. Sometimes he lifts my dress or shirt and sticks his finger into my belly button or tries to lodge a magnet there as if to touch your hand, as if to call you out, as if to prove that he knows you are there. In my walk from bed to kitchen, your papa already there with bottle in hand, your name emerged as if it had always been. Arelia, which means golden, nothing in my life is except the light of you and perhaps a few spare pieces of jewelry. Via Aurelia is the name of the road to Genova, the home of your grandmother's people, as much a road as it is a journey for people who bleed the sea. Your other names we held already, Atabe for the Taino mother goddess who birthed herself in all the world, all that is fertile and all sweet waters from nothing. Norris for your great grandmother, whose name means nurse, may you be cared for and care for others. Your name prophesies our time, how you grow and will emerge, pandemic born, stewed in worry and hope, as hospitals now say, a pregnant mother with COVID-19 will have a C-section, will be separated from the newborn for up to 14 days, will birth alone. And so I gird myself in loneliness to protect us both from separation, a kind of early death, when the first hours call for clinging, the first suck of your mouth at my breast, the first coos of my mouth to your ear, this is your name. We crossed a rough sea together. Here we are, daughter, whole and ever entangled, whole and separate in light and breath and blood. Arenia, you may prove your name and birth yourself in dawn while all the world screams for care. And I moan you, guttural to earth, perhaps to catch you with my own hands.